All righty. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our product training, where you learn all about how our life-changing products can help benefit your health span, right? So before we get started, if you have not already, please go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel and comment. We'd love to hear what you guys have learned uh, and your takeaways from our training uh, Zooms. Okay, so today's yeah. topic. Okay, what is it? Um, it's kind of fun, right? Because what we've done, we talk a lot about our prices and how our prices beat the prices of all other supplements. Um, what I really want to focus on is prices that are comparable, but what's not comparable is what's in them. Because I do get a lot of questions, right? That, you know, well, I take such and such and it's about the same price, or maybe it's 30 cents less, or maybe 30 cents more, whatnot. And then I go and look at what they're taking and what's in it. And then I have to pick everything apart because the quality is subpar. And that's what I really want to highlight today. And what we're gonna highlight it on, it, it has most to do with our multivitamin and then tie into why we have our magnesium and vitamin D separate and what we've done differently with them. Awesome. Right? Yeah. That was okay. So um, of course- This is user generated a lot of this. So this is a lot of you guys sending in to yeah. ask us to compare these brand products. So we're happy to do it. Yes, yeah. yes. And honestly, if you go to um, your local grocery store, your pharmacy, CVS, Walgreens, whatever you have in your area, these are um, the brands that are there. So most people are on them. And it's actually funny. I was just randomly looking at my Instagram and I was, they were uh, showing some uh, Tupperware type style and how it's used to like organize vitamins. And of course the brand of vitamins that they had in there was one of the brands I'm comparing there today. You go. So they're just very common. They're interfaces all the time. Um, so gosh, how should we begin? I don't know, but I'm so surprised <laughs> by the outcome of it. Or not the outcome, but really the one brand, the Centrum brand that like- Oh gosh. I don't think, guys, I don't think they're even in a CGMP facility. How could they be permitted to label that way? The label is right. misleading. Um, well, while you're bringing, yeah, I, look, while I you're just, bringing that up, we're going to just highlight it. Okay, right. so. Go ahead, please. Okay, I was so, distracted. My right, apologies. Right. <laughs> so what is different about this one is I'm almost certain um, it is not CGMP. Camping. Uh, uh, standard, uh, certified standard. The other ones I'm going to talk about are CGMP. So what they talk about their quality sounds like it's comparable to ours, but it's not. Yeah, right? it's really not. not. Yeah. So this one, I mean, I just can't stand it. There are so many people on Centrum. I mean, I even had a friend tell me the other day, oh, I just take my Centrum. I'm like, oh, uh. so, it's just so bad. So I'm just going to highlight a few things. But I mean, let's just talk about price, guys. It's cheap. It's cheap. One tablet is the serving size, right? Right. Yeah, one tablet is the serving size. Gosh, I don't know. Yes. And there's 120 in here. And it's 14. I got this for $14.19. So super cheap. Guys, I wouldn't take this if it was free, right. to be honest. Like, I would not take it if it was free. Um, so oddly enough, it doesn't list the forms um, of the vitamins on the label, the vitamins and minerals. And you were saying that's clearly not CGMP. Right. It right. will never pass compliance. Yeah, I right. mean, there's a lot of different, like well, like magnesium is an example. There's different esters and different salt forms and conjugated forms of certain minerals and vitamins and magnesium being one. There's like many forms, right? Glycinate, gluconate, which are the two which we prefer. You have three and eight, you have citrate, oxide. I mean, there's a lot, right? And but So when your forms are not listed not on here, listed. it's kind of like, hmm, what am I really taking? Right. I mean, you have to ask yourself that. Right. So I'm going to let Ryan go into the, details of the vitamins and minerals, but I do want to point out a few things that are in the um, ingredients list, okay? Guys, there's blue to lake. Does that sound like you should be taking that? Why would you want to dye I mean, anything? I mean, I get- Yellow six lake. So there are dyes in here, guys, toxic dyes. Um, I know one of their lines of Centrum. I don't know exactly which one it is. It might be the Centrum Silver, um, are the, I mean, not yeah, the Centrum, no, the, the over 50, the over 50 fit, has yeah. red 40. Right. I mean, that is like the worst dye you can put into your body. Okay. And it's known to cause, you know, brain problems. So anybody that, yeah. Anybody that has, um, ADHD. ADHD, I mean, it's a very common thing. Avoid the red dyes. Um, so you have your, your, your dyes in here. Oh, what's interesting. You said the dye, but also the titanium dioxide, which you're about to say too. So that yes. those now California had moved the bandit. New York is right behind them. I think another, maybe Illinois, there's another state there right behind them. And I think that you're I'm pretty sure it came from the European Union sure. too. They've had that band in oral 
dietary supplements yeah. for a long, long time. So. Yes. So titanium dioxide in here. Why? No, no, right? not crazy. Yeah, crazy. Um, magnesium stearate, BHT is used as the so, preservative in here. Um, and then why don't you highlight like the, the, the stearic the, acid component doesn't worry me. As a matter of fact, well, I, I would openly admit we can always improve. We're always trying to become better versions of ourselves every single day. That that definitely goes for our diet, our supplements. So you'll see us make changes over time. But yeah, mag stearate, we we're fortunate. In my research, I was able to find a different gliding because magisteria is really used as a gliding or a lubricant for manufacturing. So you, you do need that. The machines can, do need that, right? So right. We, we use organic or USDA certified organic right. rice holes yeah. uh, instead of magisteria and the silica, which you'll yeah. commonly see now in capsules. Um, so just point out a few of like the forms. L name a couple and I'll comment. Okay. So vitamin E. <clears throat> oh, they have, right. So they have the synthetic form of vitamin E. It's, you know, I will say the synthetic form is standardized so they can at least understand how many units you're getting. But yeah, agreed. We've moved on and uh, are moving you know, away from synthetic vitamin E for sure. Right. Uh, B12 as cyanocobalamin. Cyan cyanocobalamin, synthetic form of B12, not methylated. Most There's actually a significant literature supporting them, the MPHFR gene variant being way more common than we ever thought. So you cannot benefit from like B12 or folic acid if it's not already methylated. So that's why we choose methylated form. It is more expensive, more costly, higher quality. Uh, cyanocobalamin, synthetic. It is highly stable. Um, but again, yeah, not not our choice of right. B12. And you had just mentioned folic acid. So there's also... Well, and they have the, the synthetic folic acid yeah, as well. Not right? methylated. So there's, like I said, so many things in here, even being 14, just over $14, guys, I don't want to be taking this because there's so many things in it that I don't want to put in my body. A lot of junk. And you shouldn't want to put in your body either. Such okay? junk. Again, I said, even if it was free, not happening. Not taking it. Yeah, it's not um, real. Okay, so while we're going on with the Maldives, okay. let's just grab, where's my other what thing? We have? Okay, Nature's so made. this one is so common. Okay, Nature Made. As you see it in every single store, this is the one I was just talking about was in the, the woman's Instagram um, in her little... Vitamin caddy. Um, so nature made multi $13.99. Okay. Again, a cheap price, right? A decent price. Uh, so we can be comparable in those prices. Um, if you're wondering, our live good multi is for members $9.95. Um, so same 30 day supply, $9.95, 30 day supply for, right. for that. Right. 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 Um, and and I do want you to notice too, like this is take one a day. So this is 130 tablets for you know one a day. But if you Compare a lot of the um, ingredients, most of them are pretty low doses. So Ryan, I mean, we'll tell you firsthand, to get a lot of um, nutrients in a capsule or in a tablet, you, you have to have more than one or you're going to have like this giant tablet that's impossible to swallow. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I here's a, so to that point, right? So the Centrum has magnesium in there as well. Like you said, 100 milligrams, you don't know the salt form. Therefore, you want to know like the percent, like, so when you have magnesium, like look at the size of our capsule of magnesium, if this is open or not. It's pretty big, right? Like these are, these are big. This is the, the recommended daily amounts, of, daily amounts of 420 milligrams of elemental magnesium. That's a lot of powder, you know? So when that's what you're looking for. You need to have that amount of elemental magnesium. So the fact that Centrum squeezed in hundred milligrams and don't tell you really what it's, what it is in here, it, it just shows you the lack of quality. Right. And this one, while you're on magnesium, yeah. has 100 milligrams of magnesium oxide. So first of all, what's 100 milligrams going to do for you anyways? Like, I mean... Well, if the 420 need... we're saying is the minimum you need from the day, you're right. assuming you get also some out of your diet. And some studies now, the latest one, I think it was in women, but 450 milligrams a day to, to stave off like neurodegenerative stuff right. like Alzheimer's, right? right? It was like maintain 450 of supplementation every day and it had significant benefit. Right. Right. Uh, in Alzheimer's. Right. Uh, so outcomes. assuming you're getting some of it from your diet, right. of course, but I mean, a hundred milligrams. Put a hundred in there. And I also don't like having magnesium in a multivitamin because it does, there's usually a lot of other stuff in there that they can either chelate to, which is like kind of a binding, or they can compete for absorption sites. Not ideal with magnesium. I prefer to separate that out and I want to control the dose. There's a lot of reasons, benefits to having magnesium dosed independently of a multivitamin. I don't want to see it in a multi. Right. And you will see on our website that our actually our tip is to take two hours from taking yeah. other vitamins yeah. and minerals because of that reason, right? right? So then if you're taking it with your daily multivitamin, I mean, that's that's not helping and, at all. And this Nature's Made has magnesium oxide, like she said, not mm -hmm. a preferred form of, of magnesium. I mean, it, it's... 
not well absorbed. It doesn't really, it's not going to help. doesn't cross the blood brain barrier. It's not going to do much and it potentially causes GI upset and diarrhea, loose stool. So I don't know. I mean, useless for sure. Right. Unnecessary. And same thing goes with your um, B12, cyanocobalamin, cyanocobalamin, your folate is folic acid, okay. um, your vitamin K. You were reading this and you had said something, Ryan, about the uh, vitamin K1, K. right? K1, okay. right? So for the people out there that are really concerned about vitamin K with dietary intake for, because of blood clotting, if you're on an anticoagulant, the K1 is your the stuff that you're typically told to avoid or not make many changes to because like it's in green leafy vegetables. So if you're on, but that, that information is starting to change with the new age of anticoagulants, but still the K1 is not the preferred form for, for utilization of calcium and bone health and all the benefits of K. It's really K2 is what you want to see the menoquinone. So right. that's what we use in our D3 with K2, the K2. So yes. again, more expensive form, higher quality, right. uh, better for you. Sure. And also, um, you know, we chose to leave our vitamin D out, right, of mm -hmm. our multivitamin. And so this multi multivitamin right here has a, a thousand international units. So most people, I would say probably everybody, yeah. needs more than 1,000 international units. I mean, that's what I give my kids to, stay, to, ma to maintain. Mm -hmm. um, so you're taking it in here. So it's taking up space in here when you could have more of another ingredient. Let's just say what it may be. Oh, I pulled it out somewhere. I thought it was iron. I agree. It's taking space. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you're not controlling the dose at all. So right. if you want to maintain healthy blood levels, I think 2000 is the minimum because I always tell you to know your numbers with your doc for sure, but you want to be 30 to 50 nanograms per mil. Lisa's over 50. I'm at 50, but 2000 will basically keep you there. And if you need to go up a little bit, you can, but you can't do that when it's in a multi, you can't move your D dosing around. Right. You can't change the time of day that you, you dose your D either. So very challenging when you jam a lot of stuff. For without any real purpose or thought behind it into a single caplet. Mm -hmm. like yes. That. And yeah. we also did put put um, 60 capsules in our D3, mm -hmm. knowing that you might need to take two, right? And we want to make sure you, on average, have a 30-day supply, right? That's the goal. Um, okay. So just another, like I said, another very common yep. uh, multivitamin that is CGMP standards. Um, they are a decent price, but just to highlight why like our, our quality right so it's not just about the price guys it's not just about the price it's about the quality and if you're taking something you want it to have a therapeutic benefit right you want it to do what it's intended to do so therefore you have to make sure that you are supplementing with high quality ingredients some of the comments are really funny i'm cracking yeah. up bruce and jenny this is good stuff you guys are sending in there i'm missing out yeah you are <laughs> yeah um okay and then now I mean, now it's a decent brand, right? So I, I do get asked this one a lot. What's our price here? Again, they're all decent price. $9.99 for 30 servings. Okay, very similar to our Live Good, our um, $9.95. Uh, you have your D. What, what oh, form as D? ergo calciferol. Um, there's really two main forms of D. There's D2, D3. Ergo calciferol is D2, not... Not the naturally occurring form, not well as absorbed or utilized. Um, the D3 is the preferred form, which we right. use, of course, and it's cold calciferol. Yep. So, and it's only 400 international units of D of, of the lesser beneficial form. Of got D. it. I mean, yep. what's going to do? Yeah. Um, folate is folic acid, uh, magnesium oxide, only 15 milligrams anyways. What is 15? Because they can't fit it in there. Right. That's my point. When right. you have 20% of, of magnesium is elemental, like think about that. Think about the amount of extra size, mass of volume that you need to put in just to get to that equivalent elemental mag magnesium. I just want to see the size. It's it just, <laughs> well, it goes to show you that just, just, they don't, they can't get a lot of magnesium in it. It just wouldn't make sense. So... Right. So, I mean, basically the size That's of the serving big. is one capsule, but this is like the serving of one of our magnesiums and like, okay. you know, how are you going to, you just can't, can't get it all in. So again, CGMP product. So good quality, good standards, right? S similar to ours. Um, but obviously they're not putting high quality ingredients in there or the highest quality for that way. They're not putting the highest quality. And again, you're taking something for a reason, right? Otherwise you wouldn't be taking it at all. So make it count. Um, you were talking about magnesium. So same two different, same brands, nature made. And now these both have very similar things with magnesium that Ryan's going to highlight. And really it's the amount in it, the dosing. So both of these, the serving is two tablets. 
but in two tablets, it's only 200 milligrams of magnesium glycinate. We have magnesium glycinate, right? But only 200 milligrams. This is half our dose. So say you wanted to look at the now gram, okay? 180 capsules for $31.99, but that's only for 200. So really you should be doubling the dose, right? Cause we need 400 plus. So you should at least be doubling the dose. That leaves you with only, that leaves you with only 45 days. So 45 days for $31.99. I mean, our magnesium is $8.95, right? I mean, that's pretty crazy. So again, it's not just about finding a supplement, reading to make sure they have high quality, comparing the prices. You have to know enough to look at each individual ingredient and be able to decipher what it is you really should be taking. And that's the goal of this. That's when we're, we're going to be comparing a lot of uh, nutrients in our stuff. And that's the main goal you have to understand and not everybody knows. So that's why we're here to yeah. teach. And I, and I just want to take a quick moment to let you know the easiest way to learn more about all of these products and everything we're talking about related to live good is go to livegood.com, click the learn more section. You'll see videos. You'll see the stuff that we write on there. And then you can also make your purchase right there as well. Yeah. Make it easy. The link is in the description below. So select the link. Like you said, go to each learn more section um, and you will learn more. Yeah. Awesome. So you, um, you really covered that well. That's the magnesium, the breakdown. It's, it, it's such, and it's like you, what you're saying matches what I'm saying, how hard it is to formulate a, a, a high, high enough dose of magnesium. Uh, it's very unrealistic to, right. to combine it into a. Right. And this is something I just noticed too. So percent daily values. Um, I mean, it's a, it's an old, I mean, I guess you have to, right? For CGMP, it has to be on their percent daily value, but they're so low um, compared to what our bodies actually need. And when this list for your magnesium, it's telling you your serving is to take two a day and that's it, but that's only 48% of your daily value. So the daily percent daily value is already too low. And then they're only putting in 48%. You need more. So now you're taking four to five yeah. capsules. And remember these recommendations are the bare minimum. Bare minimum. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I, I just want to make a quick comment about the nat natokinase for K2. I agree. Fermented foods, uh, some meats contain vitamin K2, or I said K1 earlier is found mostly in the green leafy vegetables. So yeah, dietary, uh, good source. Right. All right. Awesome. And there was, what else we have, Lisa? Um, well, there was one that did not come, come in uh, the mail yet. I actually had trouble getting this one. I don't know why. Um, Swanson, the Swanson brand multivitamin. Again, great standards. Pricing is decent. I mean, this was twenty five ninety seven for for um, I believe it was thirty days. But regardless, when I started comparing line for line, the same thing happened. Cyanocobalamin for the B twelve, folic acid for the folate, um, mag sterate as you know as your uh, glide. Glide. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you know, again, it's not horrible, but they're not the highest quality. Uh, magnesium oxide. This one, this Swanson brand also contains shellfish, which is kind of a hidden in there. I mean, you wouldn't think that a lot of people have shellfish allergies. They got to be careful with that. Um, highlight what their B12 amount is. For their B12, a, um, a lesser quality form, cyanocobalamin, like we said, is only five micrograms, where ours has 200 micrograms. So again, you got to compare the type of the, the vitamin or mineral. You got to compare how much you're getting of it, then, then the price. I mean, it's crazy, but we want to assure you that with Live Good, we have done the work for you, right? We really have made sure. I mean, again, we take this stuff every day. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be taking something that has something in it that I don't want to put in my body. And I'm going to be taking something that I want to have the therapeutic uh, you know, effect. Otherwise, you know, why, why are you taking it? And I'll tell you what, you'll continue to see us uh, make small changes here and there. I, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you that we are going to move to um, natural form of vitamin C. Yes, that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. Look, I know enough of you, a lot of us have said that maybe ascorbic acid would, is not the preferred form of vitamin C. And thankfully now the, there's better sourcing for acerola and different sources of uh, organic uh, vitamin C sources. Right. Yeah. I mean, Ryan's you know biggest goal with why it wasn't put in at the from the get-go is wanting to make sure again it's a high enough dose to have a therapeutic effect and a lot of times when it comes to the most more natural forms you just can't get it in that high enough dose to and actually stability to, to do something and some of the natural forms have a really difficult yeah. time maintaining shelf life so there's yeah. a rhyme to his reason for sure yeah, for sure
Um, are there any questions? Mm, yeah, there were. No, there was I much. Mean, I just kept kind of covering all of them. Yeah, no, everything's good. Yeah, I think you guys kind of get the point, and we're really happy to tell you when we think a product is decent and has merit, and other times when we think you should avoid it. You know, I really do think that's important. Yeah. We try not to be negative or talk bad about other brands, but we want to be honest and transparent with you guys. Sure, sure. Um, and, and like I said, so take what you've learned today. And next time somebody asks you, or maybe you're trying to sell them, or, you know, get them a friend or family to start on our women's multivitamin. And they say, oh, I take my Centrum and it works just great. Centrum for women. And then start to what you've just learned, start to teach them that. And the more that you can teach, we can teach you the more that you can learn and then teach others. And then everybody's learning and benefiting from our yeah, and educational I, videos. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd hate to see these unscrupulous. I, I would love actually to see these unscrupulous brands that just have really poor standards and low quality, you know, go away. Right. Yeah. I, I, I would love to see that right. happen because it's doing more of a disservice than sure. it is doing any good. Sure. And then, of course, when it comes to our cost, when you find a product that I can look at the ingredients and be like, wow, that's good. That's a good product. It is two to five times the price of ours. So again, that's where we come into play. We're hitting it with the quality and we're hitting it with the price, trying to give you guys the best of both worlds. Um, is that about it? Nothing yeah. so. Okay, Sounds so any other questions, um, go ahead, email lisa at livegood.com. Um, some things do come up as you as you go. Um, and make sure you uh, click this next video. Mm -hmm. That is going to keep, uh, take you into our product. Uh, Some of the quality. Uh, product, sub, thank you. Supplement quality video uh, where you can learn about our quality of why we do what we do. And, and that's kind of a more generalized for, you know, live good supplements in general. All right, All right. Thank you guys. You guys rock. Have a great day. We'll see you again soon. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.